So in the Avatar Distorted Reality fan comic, it's an alternate timeline where everything goes wrong. At the start, Aang talks about how Azula was pretty much winning and everyone that's died along the way, but he talks to his past lives and is transported to another world where everything is the reverse. In this alternate universe, it's not the Fire Nation, but the Water Tribe or the Water Nation that starts the Hundred Year War. Zuko and Azula find Aang in a volcano and they set off on a journey as Team Avatar. And along the way, they run into Sokka, who's this world's version of Zuko, but the most interesting and kind of scary aspect is that Katara is like Azula. For one, she can bloodbed without a full moon, which is just honestly broken, and the other is that she doesn't care about murkin' people. And throughout the comic, Katara is shown to be an absolute menace, and I also forgot to mention that she's this world's version of the blue spirit, but one fight that's really good is when Katara pulls up on Toph. So the chapter in question is the blind bandit, and it starts off with Toph remembering Aang and him asking her to come with him, but she says no and goes off on her own, and as she's walking, she hears that a princess is coming to the town she's in. At first, people think it's an Earth Kingdom princess, which is kinda ironic considering Toph is sort of like that, but they say it's the Water Tribe Princess, and Toph joins a crowd and sees a massive ship pull up to the dock and it lowers a walkway and out walks three individuals, and that just so happens to be Katara, Suki, and Yue, this world's version of Azula, Mai, and Tai Li. But Toph, being the absolute G that she is, wastes no time and pulls up and takes care of the Water Tribe soldiers. Suki asks if she's an assassin who attacks in broad daylight, but Toph, being a menace, responds that she's not. She's just here to bring down the Water Tribe a few pegs. Katara is impressed with Toph for taking out a royal guard, but she orders for Suki and Yue to deal with her. Seeing Toph is nothing more than a nuisance, but Suki and Yue rush towards Toph and they dodge a pile of rocks, with Suki going in and Toph mocking her for using fans, but Yue comes in from behind with a sword, but Toph pushes past them and launches a pair of stone pillars behind her, knocking the two forward as Toph confronts Katara. Toph tells Katara to stop playing games and to stop hiding behind her little friends, and she mocks her by asking if she's afraid she might chip a nail, and this pisses Katara off. The Ice Princess smirks and tells Toph that she's gonna regret that, and Katara continues saying that however strong or skilled she might be, she's gonna find out that she's no match for her. And in the next chapter, Katara launches a wave of water towards Toph, who tries to block up with an earth wall, but she struggles to hold it back, and Suki and Yue show up behind her, and she creates an earth pillar rising into the air. Toph says that for a princess, she sure fights dirty, since it's three on one, and Katara jokingly tells her, says the assassin. Katara continues the assault with the water, and Suki and Yue appear behind Toph, and she blocks an attack from Suki. She pushes Yue away away with an earth barrier, but Suki is able to punch Toph in the face, which sends her to the ground. Toph tries to get up, but she realizes her hands have been frozen to the ground. Katara prepares to finish her off the giant icicle and says, this is the end. The Ice Princess tells Toph that she's been an amusing warm-up for the Avatar and goes on saying, goodbye, Earthbender. But before Katara can kill Toph, she breaks free from the ice and sends a dust cloud towards Katara, blocking her vision. And once the dust clears, Toph is nowhere to be seen, and Yue apologizes, saying she got away. But Katara tells her it doesn't matter, and that the surrounding area is a desert anyway, and without proper provisions, she won't last long, and she orders her men to go and find her. However, as they walk away, Suki tells Katara that it looked like she held back on purpose, and that it isn't like her, but Katara tells her that she must have been imagining it, and she thinks back, seeing another version of herself saying stop. And the comic ends with Katara looking down at her hand, wondering what that was. Definitely a goaded fight. The artist did a great job of drawing this from the fanfic. It's just the idea of an evil Katara is really scary. It's just the fact that she doesn't think twice about killing people is something else, but it's really cool to see a proper Toph vs Katara fight, and it honestly makes you wonder who would come out on top. Also seeing Suki, but more Yue is really interesting, and the way Toph bodied them was badass too. Overall though, Distorted Reality is just a really good fan comic and fanfic that you definitely need to check out, but if you want to see the other videos on this comic, then they'll link down below, but if you want to check out the fan comic and fanfic, they'll also be linked down below. But if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and if you want to see more from me, go check out my other channels and go follow me at TikTok, but be sure to stick around if you like Avatar content, and with all that out of the way, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.